So you might be wondering why I chose this job for today, and that's because a new quest has been added to the game called Beneath the Sands, or Beneath Cursed Sands, or something with sand. And um, yeah, it takes place in the desert, so I thought before I did that, I would find something that would allow me to acclimate to the climate of the desert. So we're going to go ahead and spend a full hour in the desert mining gold. And I think once we're done with that, we'll be fully prepared for completing the new quest. And this quest is a pretty important one, I'd say. It has added an expansion to the desert area, and it also acts as a prerequisite or an introduction to the new raids that will be added soon. As you can see, we have a nice cash tag right here, 366k from all of the hard work that we've been doing over this series. Now, unfortunately, as far as pickaxes go, I can't afford the dragon pickaxe. We are quite a few jobs away from that, so we will have to be sticking with our trusty rune pickaxe, but you know, not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and buy one of those, and then as for the outfit, of course, we got it. We got to complete the look. We, we have to look like we know what we're doing. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the mining outfit or the prospector outfit. Now we truly look like someone who knows what they're doing. So now that we have our gear set up ready, let's go ahead and do this. Honestly, I kind of like the way the rune pickaxe looks with the outfit. It matches very nicely. Now, I also could bring my this thing right here. The Varrock Armor 4 acts as a prospector outfit, but it also gives us like a little bonus, but I'm not sure I want that. I'd rather have the fashion over the extra ore. So yeah, we're going to do that because as we all know, this series isn't about making tons of money. It's just about working an honest job. And if I'm going to work an honest job, I want to look my best. We could now head over to the spot where I would be spending the next hour mining gold. And I got to say, just being here brings back so many memories, which is the main reason why I picked this spot. Obviously, there are much better places to mine gold, like in the crafting guild, but I thought we'd pick a more nostalgic spot. Just as I was about to mine my first gold ore, it occurred to me that I could be wearing a helmet that is much, much better than what I have on right now. Now, it's not going to give me the bonus XP that this outfit gives me, but once again, we're not here for the XP, we're here for the experience and I'm going to look good during this experience. So how could I pass up a time to wear the best helmet in the game? And it actually kind of matches because it's a gold helmet and we're mining gold. So yeah, can't really pass that up. Also, it's going to make us a lot heavier, I think. Um, hold on, 33 kilograms. Okay, that's actually kind of huge. It's a you know what? I, I'm sorry. I Okay. I know it's an honest job, but we, we need to make a little bit of money here. <laughs> that is going to severely cut into my, uh, well, what little money I'm making here. I was going to wear it, but I completely forgot that it's extremely heavy and that's going to drain my stamina very quickly. And that's kind of important because we're going to be doing a lot of running during this and we're already going to be super heavy from all the gold ore that we're carrying. So yeah, I'm going to pass up on that. So we passed on the gold helmet, but um, I just remembered something else. We do have the money for a glory amulet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of those because it'll give us a chance of, of course, getting gems. And I think most gems, actually, yeah, every single gem that we have a possibility of getting, even Sapphire, is going to be worth more than the gold ore. And now that the outfit is finally complete, we can begin the one hour of mining gold. So we got super lucky on that second one already. Uh, we managed to get like, what was it, four gold ore from that single one. So yeah, these gloves are kind of OP. And it's also, we're also mining it a lot faster than I thought we would. So we're definitely going to have to be world hopping. Otherwise, we're going to be wasting so much time just waiting here. And like I said, I could have worn the Varrock armor for even more gold ore, right? We have the chance of receiving two per, you know, tick or whatever. And, um... Yeah, I thought about it, but once again, we're not here for the money, we're here for the fashion scape. And honestly, the gloves aren't even for the effect, it's just to match the outfit, you know? You gotta have the full outfit going, so, yeah. I found a chicken here. 
That's the last thing I expected to see in the desert was a chicken, but here we are. So as for the method for this moneymaker, um, yeah, not really much to it. You just mine gold, and then when you have a full inventory, you run all the way to the bank. And uh, I gotta say, running to and from the bank was very nostalgic. Uh, not efficient whatsoever. It is a very long run, and it uses up all of your stamina. But still, I mean, it's, yeah, good, good memories. One of the memories that I actually have here in the desert is sitting next to the gem stall, or I guess standing next to the gem stall, and buying all of the uncut gems that were in stock. Sometimes people would sell them and I'd get lucky and I'd be able to buy them, and I'd be able to cut them for crafting XP, and then I could sell them for a profit, because back then, the description on the uncut gems was actually accurate. Whenever you examine one of the uncut gems, it'll say this would be worth more cut, and back then that actually made sense. But nowadays, uh, it doesn't. Now the uncut version is more expensive than the cut version. And speaking of gems and memories, I also used to stand at Alcarid Bank and offer my services of free gem cutting. If somebody needed a gem cut and they didn't have the crafting level for it, I would do it for the crafting experience, of course, and it was just a way to be social, I guess, as well. And I may or may not have kept a gem or two when I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, it wasn't really a good thing to do, but in my defense, I was training my thieving level and I thought that's how you did it. But not really. Moving on from my criminal past and back to my nostalgia, I spent quite a lot of time here. I know my go-to moneymaker as a kid was to woodcut and chop yews, but I also wanted to get my mining level up Eventually, I wanted to mine, you know, the Addy Ore that is north in this mine. Uh, never did do it, because mining is very slow. But, um, yeah, that was the main goal. Well, I guess the main goal was to mine Runite, but, I mean, that was a long way off, so. All I did here was mainly just mine copper and tin, iron, and then eventually gold. But gold was not the best for money, because, well, it takes a full minute for it to respawn, and there was a lot of competition back then. Luckily, since I am on Members Worlds, I could just hop between all of the Members Worlds to mine the most gold ore that I can. But back then, if you got lucky enough to find a world that didn't have anybody on it, you were pretty much forced to stay there for the one minute respawn timer. But it kind of worked out anyways, because with such a low mining level, it almost takes a minute to mine gold ore sometimes. You'll also notice that I have my inventory on my screen, and I just put that on there just so I could have the world hopper open the entire time. Uh, that plugin is called Inventory Viewer in Runelight. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this moneymaker. Once again, this was a nice little trip down memory lane, and uh, I hope to explore more old school money making methods like this in the future. So after one hour of mining gold ore, this is what we're left with, 265 pieces of the finest gold ore valued at just around 77,000 GP. We also got some gems to add to it. So in total, it's about 80.5K, along with a beginner clue that we did receive. So I'll go ahead and do that, um, and then you can decide if you want to add it to the end. But I think we'll just keep this right here as the money. Or you know what? No, no, no. Maybe we will add it. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, there we go. The finest iron dagger. Let's go back to Charlie and give him his weapon. I, You know, now that I think about it, I do feel kind of bad. Like, should I be giving him this, this weapon? Like, I'm going to feel really bad if I come back here and I find out that, you know, Charlie stabbed somebody in the market area. Alright, here's the cook. And there we go. We've got the casket. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and open it. A whopping... 1300 coins very nice oh two pickaxes just in case you know my rune pickaxe broke Alrighty, let's go ahead and sell off all of our loot gold ore looks like we're gonna get a little bit more for it it is selling for 305 instead of 293 so that's nice emeralds we'll just throw them in there along with the sapphires the staff of water and the iron pickaxes for a grand total profit of 84,000 GP from one hour of mining gold ore. Not bad. We've definitely seen a lot worse, so definitely not bad. 
Now with that job out of the way, that brings our total to 451,081 GP from 11 hours of working honest jobs. And here's a look at the total amount of XP that we got in this one hour. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Also, I want to give a huge thanks to all of my channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans. Once again, thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.